Hello guys, we have already discussed the two bit asynchronous up counter in the previous lecture I have discussed how the two bit asynchronous counter works in case a counter is two bit we use two flip flops we can use either JK or T flip flop and we use the toggling property of JK or T flip flop in order to construct the counter so here I have already explained you how this circuit is working as a counter but this counter is up counter which I have highlighted here up counter now if we want to convert this into the down counter so let me clear this if I want to convert this thing as a down counter let's try to convert so so let's say these two JK flip-flop I have taken this is A and this is B and these are the states QA and QA bar and this is QB and QB bar now if we want to convert this into an asynchronous 2-bit down counter we are having two choices so how we can convert this circuit to behave like a down counter let's look at here first thing is we can connect the output of this QA as a clock to the next flip-flop and instead of considering QA as output and QB as output we can start taking QA bar and QB bar as output so if you look at the previous diagram when we are considering QA and QB as the output pins here as I have highlighted instead of QA and QB if we start taking QB bar and QA bar as the output pin then you can look at here if you take QB bar as the output pin and QA bar as the output pin you will get the complement of this state so you will get 1 1 here then you will get 1 0 here then you will get 0 1 and then 0 0 and when this 0 0 will come again you start getting the 1 so in that way the same circuit will start behaving like down counter 3 2 1 0 then again 3 right so in order to convert the same circuit as a down counter what we can do is we can have the same connection from QA we can connect this clock of B flip flop but instead of taking QA and QB as output pin we consider QA bar and QB bar as the output pin so this is one way but there is another way also in another way what we can do is we can connect we can connect this this QA bar as the clock to the next flip flop and we still take the same pin as the output pin so we will still consider that QA and QB QA and QB are the output pins so this is QA and this is QB the only change which we are making we are passing clock as QA bar and these j and k all are connected with one also so let me connect that with one so i'm connecting this with one because we are trying to use 
the toggling property of this JK. So these are connected with one and similarly so I can make it like this and the same line we can connect with here also so these both the pins we can connect with this right so rather than doing like this what I can do like this let's say I have that and these two we can connect here and here we are passing one only okay so all these j and k are getting one value so that toggling condition will be satisfied and this jk will toggle now only qa bar you are passing as the clock here okay so now if you want to check whether this circuit is working as a down counter or not so i am writing two bit this is this circuit will work as two bit asynchronous down count okay down counter so for checking this let me draw the clock pulse and then we draw the rest of the things so let's consider this is clock so this is clock which we are passing here so this is clock which we are passing here okay now because we are passing this clock the qa this flip flop we have considered as negatively as triggered so the pulse of this qa we know that initially if you assume that qa is zero so in the very first cycle it will be only zero and then it will trigger here so it will become one and it will be one only until next negative edge will be encountered on the clock so it will be zero here and it will remain zero till this then it will become high here one and then it will remain one till this and then it will again become zero and so on now it will again toggle and become one so that we already know this is QA I am saying QA now if this is the QA clock or the timing diagram of QA because we are passing here QA bar so let me draw QA bar also here so what will be the complement of QA when it is 0 the QA bar will be 1 right so you treat it it is 1 here in this cycle and here it will be 0 in the cycle and now it will become 1 again then 0 just opposite to QA right so it will be like this there should not be any confusion in this it will work like this this is like this so this is the diagram of qa bar now if this is qa bar and this is we are passing as a cycle in this the negative edges are this is one of the negative edge this is positive but this is negative edge from voltage level high to low it is converting 
and similarly this is also a negative edge we are just trying to understand whether the circuit is working as down counter or not two bit down counter so once it come and if you draw the pulse of qb based on this clock pulse qa bar so let's draw qb i'm saying let's draw qb qb is the msb and qa we are treating as lsb okay so initially if you consider qb is zero it will toggle when this negative edge will encounter so let's say i'm considering qb is initially zero so it is zero here but when this edge encountered it will become one now it will remain one and then once again the no, it is not so it will remain one only till this when the negative edge will encounter then it will become zero and then it will remain zero till this point then it will again trigger and become one like this so this will be the qb timing diagram or pulse now if we write q and qb so let's check it here we are writing q b as msb and q a as lsb okay now initially you are saying let's say this is zero and this is also zero so both are zero zero you are considering now this is in the cycle one this is cycle one now this is cycle two in cycle 2 qa is 1 and qb is also 1 so both are 1 and 1 now this is cycle 3 so in cycle 3 qa is 0 and qb is 1 here it is 1 here it is also 1 here it is 1 but here it is 0 so now you are getting 0 1 QB is 1, no, you are getting 1, 0. QB is 1, but QA is 0. Now in fourth cycle, it is 1 and QB is 0. So this is 0 and this is 1. And this is fifth cycle. In fifth cycle, this is 0 and this is also 0. So you are getting 0, 0. That means 0, 0 is again, you are repeating. So how it is working, if you look at this, the values which we are changing, this is 0, this is 3, this is 2, this is 1 and again this 0. If you check it, it is working as a down counter because in down counter 3, 2, 0, 1, 3, 2, 1, 0 and again after 0 it will become 3. So it is generating the behavior as a down counter right so in order to design down counters i have elaborated two ways in the very first ways i told you that rather than taking outputs as qa and qb we can take the consider output pin as this pin qa bar and qb bar so if we consider the bar we will get 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, and then again 1, 1. It will start working as down counter, 3, 2, 1, 0, 3, 2, 1, 0. Another way is we connect, instead of connecting QA as the clock pulse to this next flip flop, we can connect QA bar. Once you connect QA bar, this will start working as down counter right so this is two bit down counter i'm closing this lecture thank you everyone for connecting